One, two, three, four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive, six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing five, ten, gonna do it right and do it again, yeah. I look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me, so gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out, I want to sing and shout. Take a look and see a beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening. And together make a beautiful life. And if you wanna see, then come along with me, that's right. Hello everyone and welcome to Experience Michiana. I hope that you are enjoying this beautiful winter Snowy weather in Michiana. Snowy winter. And Courtney, I have one thing to say. Where is your coat? <laughs> this is my coat. It's my clove coat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, we are so excited to be here at the market. You we know, been, we've been wanting to go here for yes. a while. They opened back in September of 2021 mm -hmm. and this is something that has been on my to-do list. I'm so excited we get to go Yes, it today. is. So we get to cross this off of our to-do list and you will too once you see this place. But Courtney, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go catch up with Deb. She's the owner of this place and she's also the cheese lady. Ooh, I need to call the cheese lady. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, the cheese lady's a friend of mine, so I'll meet you inside. I might go warm up inside too. <laughs> no, cool, get it, cool, get inside, go ahead. <laughs> We are super excited to meet all of the different owners here. But let's start here because not only are you the owner, you are the cheese lady the cheese as well. Lady. Tell cheese us lady about St. Joe. <laughs> cheese lady St. Joe. Tell us about the cheese lady St. Joe. So cheese lady, it's a great uh, small Michigan franchise. There are eight of us. Um, I am the seventh one. There's um, Muskegon's the original one, Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids, Traverse City. Uh, here and then on the east side of the state, we've got Fenton, Rochester Hills, and Farmington, or Rochester and Farmington Hills. And you know who doesn't love cheese? Yeah, I mean right. everybody. I look. I'm looking up at the board. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen that many different cheeses in one spot. That yeah. is pretty incredible. We offer over 140 cheeses. Wow. Almost all of them you can sample while you're in, so you know you're gonna love it before okay. you buy it. So how about I won't try 140, but how about two? Sure. How about what is one of the favorites of your customers? And what is something that is very unusual? So this is Uberico Pinot Rosé. So it is Ooh. a cow's milk washed in sparkling rosé and it's um, covered in rose buds. Well, you had mentioned, yeah, well, you mentioned the <laughs> Irish cheddar. So I'm sure you get your cheese from Ireland. What are some of the other countries that you get them we from? We get a lot from France, Spain. Thank you. Uh, some of the Scandinavian countries. Oh my goodness, that is delicious, Deb. Oh, okay. Kelsey, I wish I could give you a piece, but uh, oh, so good. You know what? You really taste that rosé. Mm -hmm. mm. Got like a fruity, effervescent. Mm -hmm. It's really good. That's going to be great for Valentine's Day. I love that. Very good. Oh, you're going to give him a piece always, of time. Everyone always gets to try it. When we crack open a new one. That so, is great. Ooh, that is good. Mm -hmm. All right, one more. Irish cheddar. Irish cheddar. This is... That's one of the favorites, right? Yeah. So we're a little bit different. You know, most cheese shops have all the pretty stuff in front. We keep it all back here and we walk, you know, so you got to trust your cheesemonger. Customers get their favorite cheesemongers. So when you come in, we'll always give you a sample Thank if you're you. comfortable. You and this is the one. Irish cheddar. Irish cheddar. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Deb, along with 140 different cheeses, you also have a lot of other things too. There's crackers, cheese spreads, and, and sausage. Yep, we got anything you would want to eat with your cheese or to go along with your cheese. We carry, we've got it all. Uh, the meats are all Michigan made mm -hmm. um, from Ferry Farms up in central Michigan. Uh, and then we've got other dairy stuff like fancy delicious butter and spreads. We've got a frozen section. We got a lot of gluten-free products. I see that. Yeah, people love that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of jams as well. Jams, any accompaniment for your cheese, we've got it. That's great. And you know, people, and you also have boards because people love those charcuterie boards. We do. Yes. I did a ton of them at Christmas, mm -hmm. but you can come in. I need a little bit of notice because they take a minute to put together, but um, we can do them any size. I'll ca I can cater. I did some weddings this summer on oh, nice. site. Um, we do gift baskets. Um, anything you think you might want. Uh, I'm talking with Community Tap in the back doing a raclette night, which is a super fun. It's like a half wheel cheese and you just scrape the gooey oh, cheese. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm super excited about <laughs> that. So, yeah, so I'll do special events. I love partnering with the wineries 
and breweries around town. We do some really fun pairings and classes. It's great. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know, I know when people are watching this now, they're going to want to come here to the market, Deb. So what are your hours and what are your days? So the full market is open daily, 10 to 6. Mm -hmm. um, Confusco Coffee opens earlier in the morning. They open at 7. Dad's Cafe serves breakfast Tuesday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. Double check with them. Um, and so they were open at 8. Um, everyone else opens at 10. Community Tap Room stays open till 9 p.m. It's Sunday, Monday, they close at 7. Is 7. And the wine shop is open till 7. Okay, but I think I did hear you mention coffee. 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 Yep. You know what? I didn't have any this morning, <laughs> so I think that's where I'm going to go now. All right. Okay, Thanks great. a lot, Deb. Thank See you, you later. Now, this is a place that has lots of opportunities for you to shop and to get some of those goods. We are here at Dad's Farm in the market, and Ashley, this is just an amazing space that you guys have here. There's so many yeah. options here, too. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to. Um, the options are going to expand in the summer as well because we're going to have, everything's going to be local. It already is. For you the guys most do part. have a ton of local stuff here. That was the goal, right, because Michigan has so much to offer in every terms of, like, produce, and I've got Crane's Pies here from Fenville. Um, I've got Zix Meats from Berrien Springs, just like I was, outside of produce, there's so much. I was looking at this, alligator and beef Cajun jerky. Yes. Is it good? Have you tried it's it? so good. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I've tried 90% of the things here. There's literally a comp in our system for Ashley because I eat so much of it. I also just want to make sure that everything that I'm putting out to my customers that we're selling is good. I would never Absolutely. buy something that I'm not sure of the quality. So trying to get everything as close to directly from the farm Absolutely. to the consumer as possible, which with the produce, we, we really do, and, and the other things as well. So now, I see you have a lot of things from Dad's farm. How long has the farm been around? How did that get started? Sure, um, so my grandparents started farming in the late 40s, and then that just went through the generations. Um, at one point, our family was actually one of the largest apple producers in the wow. state. Oh, okay. And we did a variety of everything. So we had cherries, sweet cherry, or yeah, sweet and tart cherries, apples, peaches, things like that. But my dad unfortunately passed away in 2011, okay. and I took over the farm for a little bit after that. But as time went on, I really wanted to focus on my markets and getting a wider variety of produce yeah. um, out. So that's what we've done and, and come up with this, this space. And there is so much variety too. And how does that change throughout the season? Or how do you expect it to change in the coming season? So seasons? honestly, I didn't really know. Going into this, <laughs> the one question people always ask me was, what are you going to sell in the winter? Uh -huh, right? Because right. like, yeah. it's not really I'm widely missing known my for... black plums. Like, yeah, let me exactly. tell you, I, that is my least favorite thing about the winter. <laughs> yes. Well, you'd be surprised how much is still local in the winter. Uh -huh. um, yeah, example, I know she was got... saying that you guys have lettuce that is still Yeah, uh, the entire, so Artisan Farms is out of New Buffalo. Okay. And... If you go to my Facebook page, you can actually see the pictures that I took of their vertical indoor farming operation. Awesome. They've got a huge space that, that they grow under um, UV light, and they've got kale, we've got baby spinach, uh, red and green lettuce, different types of salad mixes, basil. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Just all kinds of good stuff that, that's local all year round. Um, and I even saw some of the jellies, too. I know I've been on the hunt for <laughs> another raspberry jalapeno jelly, and you guys have that over there, too. Yeah. What are some of your favorite jams? The spicy peach. The spicy peach? Good okay. It's good on chicken tacos. It's good on peanut butter toast. It's good on everything. But my cousins actually make our jams. Um, they've been doing that, I want to say, like 25, 30 years. That's amazing. So, so really a family-oriented business. Every part of business. our family is, is involved in some type of farming aspect. That's amazing. So, now, you guys asked also take some of this food and use it into the cafe that's here too, right? Yeah, yeah. So when I started this, I wanted something to kind of like compound the customer's experience. And we started with, oh, maybe we'll just do a few sandwiches and stuff like that to, oh, if we're going to be here, let's do a full blown cafe. That's amazing. So, yeah. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Well, so over here at Dad's Cafe, yeah. you guys are using a lot of the food that you have over in your produce section yeah, too. So I you're bringing it from the farm. 70% uh, is coming from the produce section over there for two reasons. That way we know it's fresh and also to mitigate any waste. One of our big platforms is we hate food waste in any form. Food um, sustainability, that's such a exactly. huge thing. Yeah, Absolutely. whether that be using it over there for the cafe or working with local shelters and soup kitchens, which we do a lot with the Button Harbor Soup oh, Kitchen. Oh, um, You know, we're really trying to make sure to give back and, and reduce food waste as much as we can. So other things, you know, like things that we don't sell, chicken and things like that are 
source from other places. But, okay. Yeah, and now what are your it. hours here at the cafe? So we're open from 10 to 6, Monday and Tuesday. And okay. the rest of the week, Wednesday through Sunday, we're open from 8 to 6. So, so do you guys have breakfast options too and lunch, yeah, dinner? What, tell us about breakfast. your menu. Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you my favorite things. And my favorite breakfast item is the breakfast burrito. That's, that's mm -hmm. a huge hit. You can get it as a burrito or a bowl. Um, but everything's, everything's good because, like I said, we're a scratch kitchen. So... Uh, Chef PJ is making everything from scratch, and I can't stress that enough. It's down to the coleslaw, the sauces, the ranch. I, I've heard good things about her potato salad, right? The potato yes. salad, yes. Here? <laughs> you grab this out. This is I've, the potato salad. This is coming home with me today. It's amazing. <laughs> she does everything in-house, and I think we really pride ourselves on the freshness of our products and, and getting you know a good product in your hands. So breakfast um, and then lunch menu, we have a wide range of chicken sandwiches, we have steak sandwich, turkey. We try to do a little bit of everything. Um, and we have some desserts. One of Ooh, our, our, our sous that, chef You win me on desserts. So far. We got ice cream, we got <laughs> chocolate milk, and now we have yeah, more desserts. we got a little bit of everything. I was fortunate enough to get, uh, my sous chef was also a cheesecake uh, chef. So oh, nice. we have in-house made cheesecakes, uh, cheesecake bites, we've got cheesecake cups. Right awesome. now he's doing a Girl Scout cookie special. So I, I saw that on your guys' Facebook yeah. page. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And you guys even make homemade lemonades too? We do. We've got a uh, fresh squeezed lemonade and fresh squeezed orange juice. So okay. those are in house as well. Like I said, as much as we possibly can. And people can even call in and place an order ahead yep, of time. You can call in and you can order online as well and come pick that up so you can skip the wait. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for showing us around. This of is course. awesome yeah, space. Thank you. So in order for me to do all the shopping that I plan to do today, I need a little caffeine. So I figured let me stop here at Infusco Coffee and let me tell you first, hi, what's okay, your name? I'm Carrie. Hi Carrie, I'm Kelly. Nice so, okay, so here's the thing. I do love coffee, but I'm not one of those, I'll take it black, you know? Okay. I'm kind of like I yeah. want some, some coffee, but I want I like cream and sugar, you know? Okay, so you're probably wanting a latte. I do have a maple latte that Ooh. we get from a local store in Bridgman, Emma's. All right. So that we use their, their maple syrup, mm -hmm. and I could do that in a latte for you if you want that. That sounds good. Is that one of your customer favorites? Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, I'll for take sure. that. But okay. I'm going to go talk to Bree. Yeah. Because sure. I heard she kind of we'll runs this whole place. Oh, thank you so much. All right, well, hey, Bree. <laughs> Hey, how are you? Good, I'm good. Wow, well, you know, I heard about this uh, maple latte. Sounds really good. Yeah, one of my favorites, big customer favorite. Um, mm -hmm. I heard Carrie tell you we source the maple syrup locally, uh, which is part of our kind of philosophy here uh, to do to be a small business, but, but to support other small businesses as well. Well, tell us what drew you to come here to the market. Oh, great question. Um, Infusco was one of the first to say yes to this space. Um, our original shop is in Sawyer, Michigan, about 20, 25 minute drive from here um, in Harbor Country. And we wanted to expand into St. Joseph. Mm -hmm. um, and this is such a great space because as you are seeing today, there's shopping, there's wine, there's cheese, there's tea, um, so much to offer. There's a tap room. Um, so just being part of that, um, you know, 7 a.m., your, your morning start right. with coffee, and then this place is open till I think, 9 p.m. with the tap room, and um, so just being part of that whole scene that's created for our community. Well, it seems also like there's a really beautiful, really family atmosphere here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think very communal with these uh, center tables where our guests, but everyone else's guests and customers can sit as well. Mm -hmm. So kind of something for everyone if you brought the whole family or a group of girlfriends or guy friends, um, something for everyone to enjoy and then just be together in a communal space. Speaking of something for everyone, you have a lot of coffee here, but yes. you roast your beans here as well. Uh, we do roast in the Sawyer location. Mm -hmm. So again, only about 20, 25 minutes away. Um, that's our original shop and we have uh, always roasted in Sawyer since the start of Infusco about 10 years ago. Um, and so definitely worth a stop on your drive there as well to see uh, the San Franciscan. It's a beautiful big yellow piece of equipment, definitely a striking um, machine. But yeah, we're taking the beans from green to roasted and then we're using those beans to make your drink today as well as all of our customers drinks That's great. Um, and also selling in local grocery stores and uh, restaurants as well. Now I know coffee it seems to me has really grown in the past I would say like 10 years I mean coffee is it's it's a thing it's a, it's a, it's thing. a thing in yeah. and of itself and so how many coffees do you have here and all the different varieties for different customers? Yes, wonderful question. So we always have a drip coffee on um, all times a day. Mm -hmm. Our hours here are seven to six, so you can get your fix at any time. 
Um, and generally, we always have a light roast and a dark roast. Okay. Um, but we do offer several different varieties within each roast type, as well as medium roast. So we have, um, I think we're around eight to ten different roasts in our rotation. Um, but again, two on kind of on tap, on drip at all times. Um, and then we use a medium roast um, coffee bean for all of our uh, cold brew as well. So literally anything that you get that's coffee based at Infusco is from beans that we roasted. Absolutely. Well, I'm ready to try my oh, latte. Here she is. Oh yeah. my gosh, very nice. The team and I love generally your always does the latte <laughs> art for that presentation. Yes, so very that's, pretty. that's a nice little All clip. right, so here I go. I'm ready to taste this. Oh my gosh, that is good. I can taste that maple syrup. I told you, it's my, oh it's my, my gosh, favorite. Oh my gosh, you did, right? Yeah, Thank you really so good. much, wow. That is delicious, perfect. She got it good. just right. Good. Well, thank you so much, Bri. It was so you. nice meeting you, and I'm glad I'm getting some caffeine so I can do some more yeah. shopping. Get the boost. And so now what is the flavor of this tea? So this flavor is going to be, um, it should be very sweet. Um, okay. As a white tea, it might be a little bit subtle as well. Um, so it won't have any bitterness or astringency that you might be used to in a lot of green teas. Um, what well, smells good. I like a lot of sugar in my this tea. This is also going to be a, <laughs> a slightly aged white tea. So. Oh, that is good. I like um, it. So it's going to be coming from a tea cake. So it was picked and processed. Uh, so these are all going to be tea leaves, some tea buds in there as well. So this um, is how you get it into the, the store. This is how I've been getting it recently. Um, it's I'm like a little donut. It's like yeah, a tea it's donut. A, <laughs> they do make them actually as little donuts. So this is a, the most traditional tea cake. Um, and so yeah, I just I just took that, broke it apart, took the tea leaves apart, brewed it up in there, and then it's just a, a different way to experience tea, really. But it is, yeah. and you provide that opportunity here, and you have a lot of. Uh, what are some of your favorite flavors that you have here? So I try to have a little bit of everything. Um, See on the menu here, I, um, I try and have a little bit of all, there's six different varieties of tea in the world. Um, green tea, black tea, oolongs, pours, uh, and white teas. Oh, there's also yellow teas as well, actually. That's okay. gonna be a very rare, I actually don't have any yellow tea on my menu right now. It's hard to find, it's mostly in China. Um, <laughs> you have to oh, go I'm to the ends of the earth to try to find I'm working on getting some. <laughs> right. Actually, the tea we're drinking now actually isn't even on my menu. This is a tea sample. Ooh, it's, it's from special. somebody I'm, I'm open to work with. So yeah, a little bit of a sneak mm. preview maybe. Nice, um, for nice. You. So what, what is probably your most popular one here on the menu? So my most popular tea, uh, a lot of the flavored teas are gonna be very popular, um, uh -huh. like a ginger peach. I have a, a oh. lot of chais are gonna be really popular. Yeah. Um, um, so uh, another tea company that I'm working with on my menu is going to be their the tea spot. They're going to be based out of Boulder, Colorado. So I got like the Mile High Chai. Oh, uh, nice. Make that make a little more sense. <laughs> um, but it, so it's just going to be like I have a masala chai. I got a turmeric chai, uh, coconut one, uh, some oh, caffeine free I mean, I options. I hadn't even thought of a coconut yeah, option coconut, in there coconut too. Coconut chai. Um, so those are going to have some red rooibos, some African chai, um, African tea leaves rather. So. Uh, a lot of different options. I try to get a little bit of a selection for everybody. I know a lot of people think this looks overwhelming, but when you really get into the tea world, it's, that's a very small sampling of each one. So, sure. And which one was this uh, one? I'm hoping to grow. So this is going oh, to be, be a, a white tea. Yet. It's this going to be very tea. similar to like a, a monkey picked white. Yeah, some more of this uh, too. So yeah. I, and what is the significance of using the small cups? So the small cups is really, um, so this is, the, like I said, it's going to be a more traditional way of drinking tea. Um, mm. And so the idea in China is like we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be using a much much higher volume of leaf to water ratio, uh, and so you're gonna get a much better flavor uh, in a shorter period and of time. And so fast too. And I so mean, fast. I'm used to like steeping exactly. for five minutes. Exactly. Exactly. So that's gonna be considered like Western style is usually what they're gonna call that. And so the okay. idea with this is gonna be a long form tea tasting. So what we just did there, you'll do this 10 to 20 times until the tea loses its flavor really. Uh, and so it's just a different way to experience the tea is where in Western brewing you're going to take it and steep it and try and get all that out at once uh -huh. uh, with a gong fu style you're just going to try and get that out a little bit and so mm -hmm. by doing a smaller tasting it's going to cool down so you can drink it faster um, and really focus on what you're drinking and tasting and okay. kind of experience the tea in a deeper kind of more connected way. I feel like you have a very a vast <laughs> experience in the tea I don't, world. I don't. I'm, I don't. So honestly. <laughs> Did I'm, you grow up drinking tea? So or? I didn't. It's really. <laughs> I moved out west about 10 years ago. I really fell in love with tea. Um, uh -huh. It was just it's been like a hobby kind of a passion of mine for yeah. a long time 
I moved home and I couldn't find good tea anywhere, and so I just decided so to like, bring, it, bring it here. Uh, and so yeah, I do. I I've been learning about it a lot for a long time, and just from other people and things that I've books I've read and people I've watched on YouTube and things like that. Sure. Um, but yeah, so I I maybe have a little bit. I wouldn't call myself an expert yet. <laughs> I'm hoping to get there eventually. But uh, the tea world is just so big and so so wide and so deep that there's just so much yeah. to learn. And so you were asking about teapots and what's the best way. Um, See, I would just go by color. Like, okay, are, and honestly, I like the blue one. <laughs> that's why I got the different colors. And we can go with the blue one, yeah. Um, this is actually a great little personal teapot, so it's going to be very small. Um, and a lot of people are, aren't sure about drinking loose leaf tea. This is definitely going to be one of the easiest ways okay. to do it. You got your basket, you got your teapot. Throw it in there. So you get your hot water in a kettle, something like that. Put your tea in, put your water, let it steep. Done steeping, take it out, bam, you got your tea ready to go right in your there pot. There it is, there so it is. So it's very simple. Um, you make it sound so easy. You can, <laughs> so you can get as fancy as you want to get with tea, like I was getting over there, and get really uh -huh. in-depth with it and try and get in touch with it. All you need is tea, water, and you. Um, that's all you need to get tea going. Um, yeah, I like that combination. It's tea, very water, simple. and you. Yeah, it's, that's all you need. Um, you can get as crazy with it as you want or as not crazy with it as awesome. you want. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for showing yeah, around the of tea, course. Thank you guys so much for coming in today, uh, and I hope to see you in. Yeah, awesome. Well, as you can see, there's so many wonderful items here, but everything is so unique. How did you decide what you wanted to bring here? Oh my gosh, it was a process. So um, I used to go to a bunch of farmer's markets in the summer. It's a great way to kind of meet the local artists around town. Um, and then it's just, you know, ripping off the Band-Aid and be like, hi, I'm Brooke, and I want you to be in my shop. And so that's something you might want to do. And so it was a lot of fun. And then also, Along with it, they also recommend people that they know, and so it's kind of just all come together that way. Just recommendations and me finding. That's now, what are some of the favorites when people come in here? Oh my gosh, so right now, the favorite is the sand and beach collection by Straight From The Lake. So she utilizes a lot of like um, sand from like so Michigan. Pretty. And then she also adds a little glitter to kind of make it look like a wave. And mm -hmm. then she has all the beach glass as well. Um, the favorite right now is the Homes Collection, which contains sand from all the five great lakes. Oh, that's so, so cute. Yes, people do really like those. I really love that. You know, one of the things that caught my eye, it's so simple, but so cool. Right. Look at these. These are bookmarkers. And I love this one here. Drink tea, read books, be happy. Yes. And I love this one. My drinking club has a book problem. <laughs> so fun. And is this a local artist as well? Yes, this is also a local artist. It's Eclectic Pearl Crafting. Mm -hmm. And uh, she does metal stamping art, the leather tags as well for keychains. Um, the bookmarks are a huge hit right now. So I personally want to keep one for myself. <laughs> and then the other thing that I would love to highlight are your signs. Yes, okay, the metal signs. how cool signs. is this? I mean, <laughs> that's something that's really in people bringing them to their homes. Right. You know, it just really adds something very special. And I love this one. There is only one you, so be true. Love to be nice or leave. <laughs> that's something that we're really, um, really right. need to learn about being more nice with each other. Right. And then what, I saw something that was, oh, this one. I said, I'm buying this for my kids. <laughs> Adulting is hard. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> it is so hard that that's what they tell me all the time. I think I'm going to get this along with some other things. But again, you have potpourri, you have candles, just a really fun place to shop. Thank you. I'm definitely taking this. My kids need it, but I'm going to do some more shopping. So could you hold on to this one for me? Of course. Me? All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. So one of the cool additions here in the market is the community tap room. And Kelly, you're the owner here. This is an amazing space for people to sample some of these delicious beverages. Yeah, we've got um, craft beer uh, from cider, wine, draft cocktails, uh, meads, seltzers, just really anything craft. Um, we focus locally here. Um, we have so many breweries in Berrien County. Absolutely, so right. So fun to bring them all together. Um, uh, but also we bring in a lot of Michigan beers, uh, um, regional, national beers. Uh, I love West Coast beers, East Coast beers. Uh, and we'll even bring in some international craft beverages as well. That's amazing. And you guys have also have some cocktails that you do. Yes. Uh, yes, we have cocktails right on draft. They're from North Pier Brewing oh. Company just here oh, in that's Benton cool. Harbor. Yeah, uh, it's great. <laughs> you like that one, I can tell you like that one. But you also have some non-alcoholic options too for people. We have tons of non-alcoholic options oh, Okay, here, that's so great. Especially for dry January. Huh? We have 10 right now, uh, ranging from um, craft soda to um, uh, non-alcoholic beers that actually taste like beer. 
Um, uh, and even some, Not your uh, typical O'Doul's, right? <laughs> exactly, yes. Uh, these are juicy IPAs, okay. West Coast IPAs, Italian Pilsners, oh. even a sour beer, uh, not okay. an alcoholic beer. Oh, that's awesome. And you guys have wines here as well? Absolutely, yeah. We're currently featuring wine from Lake Michigan Vintners. Uh, they're a great winery over here in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Uh, they're the first teaching winery in the Midwest. Uh, oh. Meaning the winery is right on the campus of Lake Michigan College. Uh, okay. So every glass you buy supports the students there which directly supports the next generation of Southwest Michigan oh, um, vintners uh, and vineyard professionals. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. And now with this, uh, I know your hours are a little bit different here in the market. Well, what are your hours currently in the winter hours? So we're seven days a week. Uh, we open at noon every day here. Uh, we are open Sundays and Mondays, noon to seven, uh, Tuesdays to Saturdays, noon to nine. Uh, and I love that people can grab something from the cafe so they can have, you know, a snack or some lunch or dinner and then they can come over here and grab a drink from the tap room as well. Yeah, definitely. Anything from Dad's Cafes, the sandwiches, soups, salads, specials, uh, or even snacks from the Cheese Lady or the oh, Farmer's no. Market over there is a great option. The it, the combinations are limitless. And I know you have some behind behind there too, so if people want to grab some of those cheese plates, they can yeah, get them here too. you can too. just grab it right here. We've got um, all sorts of cheese trays um, and other snacks made just for us from the Cheese Lady. Awesome. Now this is one of the sample boards. Tell us what we have here to sample. So we've got a great cider from Pete's Cider here in Stevensville. Okay, uh, a I wonderful might try lager that one. from Seeds Brewery. Uh, brand new out of Union Pier. Uh, IPA from one of my favorites, Transient Artisan Ales in Bridgman. And even oh, a fun peanut butter stout from Shorts Ooh, Brewing. Okay, now I have to try that. A peanut butter stout? Where's it from? Shorts Brewing Company up in Bel Air, Michigan. Okay, and then as far as all of the options that you have, are they routinely changing throughout the season too? Our tap list changes constantly. Uh, oh my gosh, the peanut butter smell off of that. That's amazing. <laughs> Very peanut buttery. Yeah. It is. That's yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, we love to bring in stuff that um, you can't normally find uh, around here. Um, uh, and definitely a lot of favorites, too, from the area. Awesome. And I, I was eyeing this, too. This is something really cool I know a lot of communities are doing, but the downtown district, you can actually take your alcoholic beverage to go, essentially. Yes, the downtown district is an awesome addition to St. Joe uh, just last year. Uh, um, so this will be our very first summer. Uh, you can come in, get anything from our taps in a social district cup. Uh, um, we'll pour it in the cup for you. Uh, you can walk right out our doors here to the Commons area, which okay. runs from Main Street all the way back down this street. To, um, that road will be closed off in the summer. Yeah, I've seen that before, yeah. too. So you can kind of use it within those spaces. Yeah, and it'll be really great for ice festival coming up February 4th through 6th uh, downtown uh, come get your beverage uh, and walk down the sidewalks it'll be lined with um, handcrafted ice sculptures uh, oh that's amazing awesome well this is such a great space thank you so much for showing us around thank you so much for coming there's so much to do here and it's such a great vibe I mean there's it just is. such a fun vibe family atmosphere definitely yeah. a place that you guys want to come and visit yeah and you know there's lots of options here but there's also a lot of vegan options too which mm -hmm. we didn't show everything but a lot of the shops here also had a variety of vegan things including some of the handmade goods too which was amazing as that well. is great but you know what it's like you said there's so much here we can't show everything that's you why have to you have to come <laughs> and experience it for yourself so come on out to St. Joseph and head to the market. Experience Michiana is made possible in part by the Community Foundation of St. Joseph County and the Indiana Arts Commission, which receives support from the State of Indiana and the National Endowment for the Arts. This WNIT local production has been made possible in part by viewers like you. Thank you.